Frank Jamrock taking on Yuzuki Fuke. And the setting is Hakido. Once again, the Sapporo Nakajima Sports Center. This part of that Eyes of Beast Tour, 1995. And you can see Frank with the weight advantage in this particular bout. Yeah, it's not much of a weight advantage, uh, but uh, Fouquet is uh, 27, Frank's 23. He does have the age difference there. Fouquet's been doing it a lot longer, um, but like we've seen, Frank is a quick learner, and it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see what he does here. And we have seen Fouquet earlier in our show. He's had 25 bouts in Pancrase competition, so experience has to mean something. Well, I, the ring experience does, and, uh, but athletic ability, and uh, he does have athletic, Frank does have athletic ability, he does have power, and he is a quick learner, and uh, we just have to see what happens here. Frank uses the experience that he's had training at Lion's Den. Um, we've tra trained on this fight here, he knows what to expect from Fouquet, and um, he's just going to have to go after him and be aggressive and use his power. Fouquet, who knows judo, he knows pro wrestling, and he knows a little bit about jiu-jitsu. Yeah, you know, um, Frank has to be really aggressive, has to put Fouquet on the defense and not the offense, and he has to really go after him, and uh, he's starting out doing really well. Fouquet is grabbing that left wrist of Shamrock. Let's see if he can work anything. It doesn't doesn't look like anybody's got a real strong position here right now. No, right now you see Frank is trying to hook a toe and throw his hips forward, and that's just like a heel hook or a toe hold. If he throws it forward, he can catch the toe. It creates a lot of pressure on the ankle. You can see him keep trying for that. These are the top hybrid fighters from around the globe, competing in the hottest, most exciting martial arts import from Japan, Pancrase. This show entitled Kings of Pancrase, as we look back at the four men who have captured the throne over the years, and we'll take a look at one more who might ascend as well. I'm Bruce Beck, along with Ken Shamrock, and we're watching the young Shamrock right here, Frank, with a good reversal, and trying to take it to Yusuke Fuke. Right here, he has to be careful. He's in the guard position. He needs to work out of this, uh, but he needs to do it uh, in a skillful way. He needs to uh, be it careful and uh, get out of the guard and get him into a, a position to where he can end the fight. And uh, right now, he's doing a good job keeping his hands inside, uh, putting pressure down on Fouquet's stomach and sternum, uh, which enables him to uh, not breathe very easily. Fouquet is in the guard. He's the one with the blue knee wraps. Frank Shamrock can't really pound from that position, but now he grabs the neck. He just passed the guard. He's in a mount position. He's in a great position now. To, uh, to try for a submission hold. And he hooks the arm there, and it uh, looks like he's going to try an arm bar. If he can get his arm to break there, and he'll swing into a knee bar. And the big difference in the UFC and in Pancrase, when you're in that mount position, instead of raining down blows to the head, you've got to just work for some submission hold or some other advantage. Right now, Frank's covering his mouth, and <laughs> it's making it difficult for him to breathe, and uh, that makes the man move. Right there is a, a nice, uh, uh, recovery on Frank's part to keep the mount position. He's got on his back now, um, and Frank will work a choke from this position. Um, he'll have to uh, be sneaky about it. It's not like the UFC where you can strike the person in the back of the head and have him open up and choke him. Uh, so he'll have to work it and keep working and try and keep his chest to back position. Frank Shamrock, who competed in football and wrestled in high school, is a tough kid, never afraid of street fights, has proved to be a real fast learner. He's absorbed Pancrase extremely quickly. And now a good move by Fouquet. Yeah, Fouquet's setting up here for a knee bar, and he'll try and step over, and Frank keeps his head in front so he can't step over and work the leg. See how he grabs that leg there? Doesn't want Fouquet to step over with the other leg to go for a knee bar. So he'll keep scooting away. And then nice reversal uh, came up top and uh, created uh, Fouquet to come off balance and then end up on top in a half guard position. Frank Shamrock on top in the half guard position. He continues to put that left forearm into the neck of Fouquet. It's very, it's a, it's a discomforting. It's uh, debilitating. Yeah, and it makes you. It makes you want to move, or otherwise, it, it, yeah. it, it's very painful. And he's in a, he's uh, just got an amount position, and uh, he'll work for an armbar from there, 
or or it keep putting a cross face on him and make the K roll there in for a rear choke. Now Frank can be very selective. He's looking for an opening. He's buying his time. He's strong from the mount. Got a little bit high. Got to be careful sometimes there. Well, yeah, that you know, it's it's one of those things where that uh, you know it's a cat and mouse game. You know, you you you, you got to take a chance sometimes, and sometimes you don't want to take a chance. Um, and it looks like right here he's going for a rear choke. He's got it sunk in, but he doesn't have his legs in, and uh, he needs to get his legs in to, to uh, finish the fight here. Um, if he can get his legs in, he can finish by right near the ropes he's grabbed. That's that's one lost point. He grabbed the rope for balance. You always talk about the legs, Kenny. You always talk also about clearing the hips. Well, why so important? Well, w with uh, the legs is where your power comes from. Your legs and hips. You got to sink the legs in there, and then you got to throw the hips forward, and that's where you create that power coming from. Is your legs and hips? Even with a punch or a kick, it's the hips and the legs that create the power. Right, so often we see in boxing a guy throw a punch but not using his legs. He doesn't get the leverage. He doesn't get the power. There's no snap to it. And, uh, and that's the same thing with submission. You, you, your legs do most of the controlling. Uh, it, 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 like, for instance, in this position here, Fouquet is in the guard position. Fouquet can control his opponent with his legs from here and not even use his hands. So Fouquet in the guard. Frank Shamrock backs him out to the middle of the ring where... Fouquet can't even think about using a rope as an escape. Good move there by Frank as he gets behind Fouquet. Yeah, right here, Frank's in a good position. Uh, he can, he needs to use his hands more and cross face and force that head up. Right here, he's, he's got him in a cross face, uh, like that neck crank. Right. And he can apply pressure. He throws his legs around him, move him to the center, and really apply the pressure. <laughs> there it is. It does it. That's two lost points there. He grabbed the rope twice now. He has three left. Five points means the disqualification. Frank Shamrock has things going his way. Both fighters on their feet. Trying a spinning back kick that Fouquet didn't work and Shamrock levels up. Well, Fouquet has got a uh, nice leg choke on right here. Frank needs to be careful. He's got to pop his head out. The way he has to do, he's got to get his arm free, the one that's inside the legs there. Slide his head out. Um, if Fouquet can roll him over and get on top, he can choke him out. So Frank needs to pass his arm through. There he goes, right there. It's a good escape. Very nice the way he passed his arm through. It's like when you talk about passing the guard, you've got to reestablish your position. Yeah, you have to get the arm out in order to clear the head. If you try and pull the head out, then you end up in an arm bar situation. So you need to pass the arm first, and then your head will come out. Now he's working that left arm of Fouquet. That was very nice. Uh, he tried for that arm bar. He didn't get the leg over the head. It was very quick, and uh, Fouquet knew it was coming, and has kept his head down. Now Frank Shamrock in the guard. This fight's gotten better. Fouquet has been very much in it, although playing from a, a defensive posture. So right there, Frank tried a uh, front choke. He was in the guard position. Fouquet left his head low, and Frank tried it. Here comes a reversal. Uh, Frank's going for leg lock, and uh, Fouquet gets the mount position now. Right here, Fouquet's trying to get his leg behind Frank's head there and to do what you call a leg choke. <laughs> Looks like that hurt a little bit. Over seven and a half minutes into this bout, it's Frank Shamrock and Yazuke Fouquet. And now Frank Shamrock sinks that arm around the neck. He could be working for a choke. He's got the legs in, Bruce. He's in a good position. The only problem here is whether he is far enough away from the ropes if he applies a choke that Fouquet can't reach the ropes. Lost the handle. Oh, they moved to the center, Bruce. Now he's going for it again. Much better position for a sleeper here. He's got the legs in. Shamrock working. Fouquet just trying to push it off. You can see there's not much air going through there for Fouquet. It's, it, he has it. He's going to go. There's the it's tap. Over. There's the tap out by Yuzuke Fouquet. It took a while, but Shamrock finally got the choke he wanted. He got the legs in, Bruce. He got the arm in. He applied the choke. He was able to use his hips on that and was able to finish Fouquet with that rear sleeper choke. As you see right here with the replay, freeze, please. As you see right there, he has got the arm in. He's got the arm behind the head. We can't see his legs, but his legs were in. He threw the hips forward and pulled back with the arm there, and that created a lot of pressure on Fouquet's throat. Roll tape, please. 8.16 the time, the sleeper hold, the victory to Frank Shamrock.